Peter Pat, who weighs 20 pounds. Whoa. He's kind of like a dog, but he's just a pig. I mean, he even walks like a pit bull. <laughs> but he's black and white, and so if you're going to be my baby, it don't matter if you're black or white, so his name is Michael Jackson. <laughs> so yeah, I have a cat named Michael Jackson. And um, I call him Jacko, usually, as they used to call him, like Michael Jackson in the British tabloid. And uh, he's fantastic. He's my baby, and I love him very much. But when I'm out of town, he goes to stay with my ex-boyfriend, so he's kind of in a house that he's familiar with. But I want my cat back. <laughs> I'm already like, here's me. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Because that's one of my favorite things to do when I'm not working on anime and stuff is, like, if I have just one evening alone, me and Michael Jackson will curl up in the big bed. And I'll read, he'll purr, he'll curl with the orbs, and I just want to go here right now. I love him so much. Thank you for asking that. My mom also has a dog named Lucky. He is a little uh, Yorkie. And he's fantastic. Like, he's ridiculous. Like, I think he's old as dirt. <laughs> but I don't know how much longer he's going to be around, poor guy. But every time I go down to Houston to record with that guy, I get to spend time with Lucky. He does this little thing that I call him Ninja. Because he'll get excited when he sees you. If he's on the bed, he'll do this little hand thing to come up to you. And he'll scoop his arm. And it looks like a little ninja. Oh, ninja! I love animals. Yes, ma'am. Can we go ahead and tell you? I've seen a pet live enormously long. We got one eight years ago that had cancer. It was supposed to be dead in six months, and it didn't die till December of last year. Oh, wow. That's so good to hear. Because I'm, I'm so. Like, my baby, Michael Jackson's my baby. My cousin is totally my baby. So like when I go to the vet and like, well, you know, you need to watch his weight because there's diabetes concerns. Oh, here's the thing that the lady told me last time. She's like, he could use to he could stand and lose a pound or two because he's just a big cat. So I was like, okay, I'll put him on the diet. She's like, well, and here's the thing. This might be TMI for you But <laughs> we tested his blood and there's no pre-diabetic concerns. Um or, yeah, no, but in his urine, I guess it found a little bit of cause for concern. So she's like, but that could just be because he's stressed. Okay, so what do I do? She said, well, I mean, you could, like, starve him for the night and then bring him back in and, like, starve him for the night? I don't want to lose my toes. She's like, no. And she's like, but it could still be the stress. And I was like, so you're telling me I need to de-stress my cat? How do I do that? And she goes, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, veterinarian lady. I appreciate that. So every once in a while, I'll just look at him and go, no stress. <laughs>